Hello everybody and welcome back to the second shelf. Today I have a tag video again for you and that is the booktube geek tag. I was tagged by the lovely Steve from Steve Donahue and I will leave a link to his channel down below. If you don't know him yet you should certainly check him out and subscribe. So thank you Steve for tagging me and Steve thought because I start my Twitter days always with Allons-y, that there might be uh, a geek hidden somewhere with Doctor Who in the middle, and he was not wrong, as you will see from the answers. And here is question number one. What is your favorite TV series? And as with all geeks, there are many, many series, especially if you are as old as I am. So when I was really young, I loved Star Trek, but I stopped watching it, I don't know, I think maybe 20 years ago or something, um, and I was never what you would probably call a hardcore geek fan of the series. So if I had to make a choice, um, I will go for two series, and that is, of course, Steve, you were right, Doctor Who. I love the series, I always loved it, the old ones and the new ones, and the three most important questions, of course, when you are a Doctor Who fan is, who is your favorite Doctor? Well, that's easy for me, it's the 10th Doctor, David Tennant, will always be, although I really enjoyed Matt Smith, and I'm getting used to Peter Capaldi, David Tennant, the 10th, is my absolute favorite. And the second important question is, who is your favorite companion? And that's Martha Jones. I love that character. I thought she was brilliant and witty and strong and headstrong also. So she is definitely my favorite. Even though I enjoyed Amy Pond and Clara, but Martha Jones, that's it. And the third important question is, who is your favorite enemy? And for me, it's not the Daleks, but the Cybermen. I think the development of the Cybermen, especially after 2006, that was really well done and I, I loved the, the way they are described and pictured and fought against. So the Cybermen are my favorite adversary or enemy of the Doctor. And the a second series that I really loved, which is a newer one, I mean not that new, it's already in the seventh season or something now, but that's the Big Bang Theory. I think that's the ultimate geek TV series. If you are a geek and you don't watch Big Bang Theory, you're not a geek. So two series, Doctor Who and the Big Bang Theory. On to question number two. What is your favorite movie? Again, given my age and the amount of movies I watched, there would be hundreds of movies that I really loved. But in the more geek category, I would certainly go for an older movie, a movie from the beginning of the 1980s, 1981 to be precise, and that's Diva from Jean-Jacques Benix. It's a French director, French movie, and it's fantastic. I will leave a link to the movie trailer down below. If you haven't watched it, you should absolutely buy the DVD or watch it in some other way because it's a fantastic movie. I think I've watched it more than 10 times. Um, and it's not only the story, it's about a young guy who is really into classical music and who secretly tapes uh, a performance of his favorite singer, um, uh, played by uh, Wilhelmina Fernandez, who, who sings beautifully. And then the tape gets stolen, it's mixed with another tape which has something to do with Spy. So there's this story of a chase and tapes and uh, some spy thriller mixed into it. But what makes the movie really, really special and fantastic are two things. That's the way how different storylines are coming together in the end and the way the movie is filmed. It's so incredibly beautiful, the way the, the camera works and the way the movie is filmed, that even if you watch it for the 10th time or the 20th time, you will discover something new and something beautiful. And in addition to the beautiful camera work, there is 
beautiful, wonderful music. Um, opera, La Vallée is sung a couple of times. Um, so that the soundtrack, the music is, is wonderful, the camera and the story is thrilling. So if you have never heard of Diva, if you have never watched it, please do. It's worth it, I promise. Question number three. With which video or computer game are you obsessed? Well, none anymore. Uh, and precisely because if I start, it becomes an obsession. Many, many years ago, I was obsessed with civilization and meaning that I played it until four or five o'clock in the morning and couldn't stop. I also was obsessed for a while with the older versions of a treasure island hunting game um, video. And at a certain point, I just realized I'm, I won't be able to keep myself in check once I start playing video games or computer games, um, even if it's only a card game like Patience or something, I will get obsessed with it and will not be able to stop. So I don't do that anymore. So no computer or video games for me anymore. Question number four. What cartoon do you love? That's also something from really, really long, long time ago. I don't watch cartoons that much anymore, hardly ever, I have to say. Um, but I did when I was much, much younger and I loved the Looney Tunes cartoons from the Looney Tunes, especially the Roadrunner uh, was one of my favorite cartoon characters. So I loved to watch them when I was uh, a child and in my teens. But at the now, I, I don't have a new favorite, a, a new, more modern cartoon. So if I want to watch a cartoon, I will always go back to one of the Looney Tunes and, and watch those because they are just fantastic, I think. They, they are fantastically drawn, the characters are great, um, and the story is always really entertaining and funny. So check them out if you never watched them. I will leave a link to their website down below because they are really funny, I think. Question number five, what is your favorite comic book? That's also something quite old, almost as old as I am. So it's, it's a video like grandma tells stories, but my favorite comic book was and is and will always be Asterix, which is a French comic, Asterix and Obelix, and I, I love them. Especially the older ones, my favorite is the 1970s Asterix in Switzerland, which I thought was hilarious and funny. And of course, Obelix is my f absolute favorite character. Um, I, I think that the two artists, René Goschini and uh, Albert Uderzo, they are, they are brilliant. The, the way they draw is just brilliant and the stories are inventive and, and beautiful. Um, I still read them. Uh, the the last one that came out in 2015, but I, I prefer the older ones, let's say the first 10 or 15 years with uh, Asterix in Switzerland as my absolute favorite. Question number six. Have you ever been to a geeky convention? No, I haven't. Um, I think there are two reasons for it. First of all, when I was younger and probably more inclined to go to conventions like that in Europe, geek conventions were not such a big thing as they were already, I think, in the United States at that time. And the second is that I don't do well in large, really large crowds. It's, it's just not my thing. I don't feel comfortable. So no geeky conventions for me, unfortunately. Question number seven. What place have you visited that brought out your inner geek? Well, I'm an absolute sucker for science museums. Um, I, I, love, I love to go to these kind of museums and I think the first one I've ever been to um, that was in Paris, the, the Muse Paris Science Museum, I will leave a link to their website down below and that must have been more than 30 years ago and what is now really common also in regular museums when you go there that you have interactive uh, screens and that you as a visitor of the museum can really do things, not only look at stuff, but do things. 
that was really something very new at that time. And the museum in Paris, which had just opened um, at the time that I went there for the first time, did that as, as something new. And it, it was, for me, at that time, something new. And I loved it. I, I loved going there. I loved playing with stuff, uh, sitting in a, a space shuttle or whatever, or playing with the computer screens and interactive uh, doing interactive things, sciencey, geeky stuff. So I loved it, and I, I still, I still do. We have a really good um, science museum in Amsterdam, the Nemo. So I love that too. But the memory that comes with my first visit to a science museum in Paris is the one that pops up um, when I was thinking about this question. Last question, question number eight: What would make your geeky dreams come true? Well, a lot of things. I have a lot of geeky dreams, of course. But one of the things that that stands out, that would really make my geeky dreams come, come true, is, um, well, I have to explain it a little, I guess. I have a, a SETI at Home computer uh, screensaver. If you're not familiar with SETI at Home, SETI is the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, of course. SETI Institute in Berkeley. And because they need a lot of computer capacity, many, many years ago, they started a project called SETI at Home. I will leave a link to it down below. So you can connect with your computer to the SETI research. And when your computer is on screen safe, you will automatically screen some tiny, tiny portion of the universe for signals of intelligent life and of course my absolute dream is that this signal pops up during my search not for fame and whatever i don't don't mean that but the idea that you would be part of something like that that we actually would find intelligent life out there and it would have been my computer who would have picked up the signal that would make my geeky dreams come true and more. So those were the question, the questions for the BookTube Geek Tag. It was really fun doing them. So thank you, Steve, again for, for tagging me. And of course, I have to tag people as well. Uh, and I want to specifically tag two people. That's Amanda from A Scientist Reads, because I think she would probably enjoy doing that and uh, Adam from Memento Mori, because I would enjoy watching him rant about geeky stuff if he is so inclined. So please, Amanda and Adam, consider yourselves tagged, and I hope you'll do the BookTube geek tag. That was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it, the geek tag, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.